Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I love you. You guide me in all things. You guide me in all things. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you have opened my eyes, you have opened my eyes, Holy Spirit, said Holy Spirit, somebody have to say Holy Spirit, 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think over will check because you recorded it.
Martin PK. Thank you for joining us today on the Pinky Room Show. Okay. Right? We're waiting for one of our guests to, to us all the way from Ghana. So hopefully, once he started, we'll have him join us right. in a bit. So we're waiting for him. But before then, we'll start with the show because the time is already gone. And we don't want to take much of your time because I realized that you were already having a program. And then you joined us. <laughs> Such a busy man, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> can you hear me? Thank you, this period, yeah, there's a lot happening in the country. Sure. Yeah. Can, you, can you hear me clearly? I can hear, can you hear me. I can hear you. Okay. So, there's a bit, um, of, a welcome to there's a bit of a delay, but I can hear you. All right, okay. So welcome to the Pinky Room Show with Princess Roy. And today I have got my guest all the way from South Africa, whom I never knew. I thought he was from Nigeria. I just discovered that he's from South Africa. <laughs> and <it's, laughs> I was so, so, you know, amazed. I thought you are all this, all this time in Nigeria, or you're Nigerian. Okay, so we have Minister Martin PK all the way from South Africa. I will allow him to introduce himself to us because he can tell us more about who he, he is and what he is into. And thank you for my guests, uh, sorry, my audience who have already tuned in. Please keep on sharing the, the, the link. We are live now on YouTube, on Lively TV um, UK, and also Abedin TV Nigeria, live now, and also on Princess, Roy, Princess Roy's YouTube channel. So, Minister, can you tell us about yourself? I can see Superman. So, who is Superman? <laughs> <laughs> First, let me just say a big thank you for the opportunity to have me on your program. Um, it's quite obvious why it's called the Pinky Room. Um, I think I'm also kind of almost almost matching your 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 the color of your set there. Okay, Martin PK is a minister of the gospel, born right. again, full of the Holy Spirit, tongue talking. Uh, called by God, um, born again for over 60 years now in the beautiful ministry of, your, of Labos, under the beautiful, anointed and great leadership and racial leadership of a man of God, Pastor Chris. And um, so, so I won't blame you when you said you thought I was Nigerian, right. because I mean, I'm always in Nigeria yeah. um, for one thing or the other, to do with ministry. And um, I am in South Africa. It's said um residing here in a beautiful born in cape town but now we've been residing with my family i'm a father i'm a husband two beautiful kids been married for over 12 years now happily married no kung fu no fighting no jackie chan god is good amen we thank god for that and um yeah i'm a music minister um i call myself the minister of reconciliation based on the book of second Corinthians, chapter 5 verse 18 and um i'm an activist for christ and um of course you saw the music video now that was um, a song that god gave me in 2016 which took some of the year in nigeria 
with a prize of a hundred thousand dollars. And then um, the next one is Chad was the next one that won some of the year was Beautiful Jesus. I've won multiple awards in music in America, um, two to be precise for the End Sound Awards in Atlanta. I've been nominated in my country twice for the South African Music Awards. Um, yeah, but um, I pride myself in what we are doing, which I've really spoken to you about right now. Which this is the work that I mean, I think I'm wearing a t-shirt, the Modern Picket Foundation. There we go. And that is so willing, you know, and making a difference. We've got now the Modern Picket Foundation, which is an academy uh, where we are ministering to the poor in food supplies and, of course, in the ministry of the Word of God. And now, with my wife, we have now gone to the place where and our beautiful team, I think it's speaking to Pro, who's the CEO of the foundation. We are now moving into the next phase, which is to take the kids who are underprivileged in the townships and give them skills in the lines of media, in IT, um, in um, uh, basics in agriculture, farming, and uh, production. Yeah, so that's basically what Martin is in a nutshell. So you are into so many things. I would say a multi-talented man, um, very spiritual person who, who loves the word of God, the work of God, and he's so much zealous for the work of God and into ministry, into music, into charity. It's all sorts of stuff that you do. So how do you manage that? And I believe that you are a married man as well. You're a husband, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 years of love and grace and peace. Right, thank God. And you've got children as well. You are so much blessed. Yes. Right. Thank you. So how do you, how do you combine all the ministry, family, children, everything together? How do you go about it? Well, you know, we thank God that we are not the ones managing this, but we have the Holy Spirit that guides us to balance. Otherwise, I mean, it's quite obvious because we find people. I also do television as well. I've got I've got a big TV show which is called the Spotlight on one of the biggest channels in our, in our country, called 1G, that's One Gospel. It's a uh, we play music, gospel songs from all around the world. Um, and um, I just had to mention that because we're also trying to help gospel artists to get their music out on a global platform. You know, we all know how difficult it is for some of the artists to produce the songs and how expensive it is. To do music, especially if you're doing it the right way, you know, if you're going for excellence. So we try to give them a platform to showcase their gift and on our platform. So balancing it is through the works of the spirit. And um, of course, I've got a very capable wife, my wife is an accountant by profession. Yeah. And um, who's now, who's, when I travel, I mean, I travel a lot with a man of God, and um, she's home and she helps me through the other very important, I think she does the most important ministry in um, yeah. raising the children when I'm right. on tour you know or on ministry so um that's basically how we work it there's no specific recipe um but um it's just really thanks to the holy spirit thanks yeah yeah <clears throat> i'm so grateful because um i'm also in the online as well we talked the last time and i told you about the things that i do it's crazy yeah. sometimes the, the men the men get away with it but for we women it's not easy for us because as a woman juggling with all this kind of things I'm doing is not easy. Like you said, you are so fortunate to get a woman who is supportive and all that. Into ministry, that's what we want. We want the women that will support the husbands, we want the men who will support the women who are into ministry, who are you know doing the work of God. Because without that, we cannot do what we're doing. So I thank God for your family. I thank God for your wife and God bless you. So if you just tune in, this is um, Princess Roy, on the Pinky Room Show, I have got my wonderful guest with me today, um, Minister Martin Pique, all the way from South Africa, and he is the Mr. Superman himself. Today, we are coming to discuss about <laughs> a topic, you know, for me, I think this topic is a bit sensitive, but before then, like I told you, on this show, as we always do, it's a tradition that we do, we do, we have a segment that we go through before we start the, um, I mean, the main topic, we have the funny segment and we have the what is going on segment. So the funny segment today is um, a lady sent me a message and said, she said, Princess, I met this guy on Facebook 
And I know we're friends on Facebook, but then he asked me, I know he's seen my pictures, but he keeps on asking me for my photos. And I was like, okay, why should you ask me for my photos? Because on Facebook, you have all my photos on Facebook. So why are you still asking me for my photos? So when she said it to me, I thought about it. I sat down. I was like, okay, I think I have also experienced the same thing. And honestly, it's funny. Because when you have you have a friend on Facebook, obviously you've got your photos on Facebook, isn't it? And definitely they will see your photos. So why should he ask you for more photos? So Minister, what do you, what do you, what do you think about this? <laughs> How does that sound to you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he has not seen the photos that he likes on Facebook. <laughs> Maybe he's not a special one. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe he, he thinks the photos there are fake, isn't it? Also, he wants the real the real photos, isn't it? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, maybe you know. Maybe he should be uploading more pictures on Facebook. <laughs> right, right. Because I have I have also, also experienced that, and sometimes honestly, I get I, I get I, I ask myself, why are you asking me that? Because you know you've seen me with friends on Facebook and you see my photos. So why are you requesting for my photos? Because if you go on my page, you can see a lot of photos there, and you can you can watch as much as you can. So why do you want more photos? And it's, honestly, when I received that message, it, it was so funny to me. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, you know, also, Princess, I also think maybe, you know, if it's a guy asking for the pictures, maybe the guy yeah. wants to spark up some conversation, you know, right. maybe he, he just wants to get to know you a bit better, maybe there's an attraction there, which I don't right. know, I don't really advise <laughs> Facebook as a, <laughs> a place to meet your beloved, but hey, it's a global world we're living in, but um, I would think maybe he just wants to spark a greater conversation, Yeah. and um, and to get a response and reaction from you which he has because now we're discussing it you know and they brought it to your attention and you had the same experience so you right. guys someone is looking for you man you guys <laughs> yeah right i've got a comment coming in please keep on sending your comments share the links with your friends and family let them tune in there is a lot for us to talk about today i know we've, we've been a bit delayed but we're gonna be fast, we're gonna be quick today because of the time, because I know Minister has already got a lot on his hands and he's already gone through the day, you know, being tired. So we're not gonna take much of his time. We're still waiting for other our other um guests um to tune in. Hopefully he'll be able to connect because he was having issues. He is in Ghana, he was having issues connecting when I was we were trying to talk. So hopefully we'll get him to join us soon. So on them, our other segment, we have what is going on segment, right? And this segment, I was watching this story about this lady who is married to a man. And um, apparently she was she was okay. Everything was fine. She was talking well. Everything was perfect. And then the man keeps on beating her, beating this woman every time. And what happened now was that he beat this woman and hit her head on a pole. And then suddenly, the woman cannot talk anymore. She can't bring out, out words very well. She can't talk well. Somebody who wasn't, now she speaks like a, a stamina. Even, even, I think, even a stamina might be, a, I mean, better. Because she can't talk in, anymore. Someone who can talk, someone who, who, who's got capable and everything, now she's like more, more like a disabled because a man, did that to her and my question is what is going on so minister what do you think because on this show we do discuss about we discuss a lot about abuse we discuss about men who's gone through abuse women who's gone through abuse and there's a lot to talk about about this abuse so when i saw this story honestly i i was heartbroken because when i saw the lady talking and she cannot talk a mother who cannot talk who cannot i mean she wasn't like that so you know what do you have to say i don't know how to express myself because honestly i'm in pain my heart is broken yeah, yeah look um that's that's not very nice to hear right. um what can one really say regarding that i mean if this lady's got children you know i mean what are the children saying what are they going through 
you know. But um, let's look at. I mean, this is what you call gender-based violence, you know, GDV, and um, it, it's really something that is on the rise. It's always been there, really. It's not like it's new yes. now. It's just they gave it a name, and, right. and they've, they've they've really given it a platform, you know. But this is a demonic thing, you know, right. for anybody to beat to beat someone to that extent, or to just to beat someone, you know. It might not be to that extreme. That is a very that's a demonic thing. People say, but why are you spiritualizing it? Because mm-hmm. no sane person would right. do something like that. <laughs> do you understand? Mm-hmm. No somebody who is had the, all their faculties intact, you right. know, there's an influence on that person that causes them, the, number one is probably an anger problem, you understand? Yeah. Or people can call it a, 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 a lineage problem, maybe or a family p- problem, maybe they grew up under that abusive environment and the only yeah. way for them to settle problems is through violence and to be aggressive. You see, that's why now you give it that um, title of it's a spiritual problem. You know, something has influenced you to so beat yeah. your wife that yeah. now she's found herself in the state of where, as you said, that she's probably worse off in a stammerer. So, um, yeah. I mean, this is just a sad thing. You know, it's a global phenomenon. It's- and this is the kind of things you don't want to see trending. But unfortunately, we also understand that we have the adversary in the person of the devil that influences men. You know, I always say so. we are influenced by the spirit of God. And then some are influenced by the demonic spirit. Because the demonic spirits are looking for a body to occupy. And when they occupy your body, they can do whatever that they desire to do with it. And But there needs to be consequences, unfortunately, for the person that right. housed yeah. Right. So it, it, it look, it's, it's, um, you know, so I, that's why I don't like to, you know, sometimes, you know, what how to deal with these things is, you know, I just, it, it, it breaks my heart because I saw an environment growing up of abuse as well, and I saw it around me, and it was not that nice, you know, and as a young man being exposed to grow up with that mindset, you know, there's no orientation to help you through it because you saw it face, face value. You saw what it did, you know, and you just, I just thank God that I today, you know, I mean, I'm in a way, I've never beat my wife yeah. or you do all those kind of things because I'm born again. So I really, that's why it's so important for us to preach the gospel. It's very important to us to evangelize the world through Christ. Mm-hmm. As Jesus said, go to the world and make disciples because he's coming. This is honestly, I, I, I don't know, but it's, it's good you're also speaking from the spiritual side because when we talk about it, we, we talk about the emotional part of it, but we don't speak about the, the spiritual side. So someone can also be under influence spiritually to do that, isn't it? Right. That's right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've seen your comments. Keep sending your comments down to us. I'll read all your comments before we close. And thank you for my audience. I've seen you also tuning in. This is the Pinky Room Show with Princess Roy. Please, whilst you're watching, click on the subscribe button. We are live now on Lively TV and also Abedin TV. Lively TV is in the UK and Abedin TV is in Nigeria. They are streaming live now and also on Princess Roy's YouTube channel. I'm with Minister... I want to I want to use the word the, the name Superman. I wish our original Superman, Minister yeah. Matt E. K, all the way from South Africa. Yeah. And we're still waiting for our other our footballer, um Mr. Rahim. He said he's gonna tune in. I think he's having a, a bit of um connection issues in Ghana. So we're waiting for him to also connect to us. Please keep watching and keep also sharing the link to your, fa- your friends and family today we have a topic that we're going to talk about we have our, our our men here to help us to know why some fathers run from they are responsibilities so today's topic <laughs> we're, talk- we're talking about why do some men, some fathers run from their responsibilities and i thank god that you are a father so and and funny thing is yes. i've got some some people they sense the reason why they did what they did the reason why they run from their responsibilities and some of them honestly when i read them i was like like really 
are you for real you know but then i'm going to hold on for that <laughs> i'm going to hold on for that for the men on this show today to tell me if that is a reason for them to do that thank you so much keep oh wow keep keep your comment coming we're going to read every single comment before we go so please keep it coming and hit the subscribe button please so whilst we're waiting for our other guests minister we're talking about men right who do run from their responsibilities so why why, why do you think some men will run from their responsibilities why do you think some men will run from their responsibilities okay. please yeah <laughs> well <laughs> i would like to hear the comments of the men that said they ran away right. why they don't want to comment or they gave their, uh, their reason yes and then you you but we want we want to start from this this point that okay as a man no, why no do problem. you think... no no problem no problem <laughs> yeah. so we, we, we want to see okay you you are a father a responsible father right who takes care of your family yeah. and you take off your family and all that but then, what do you think will make a man run from his responsibilities? Let, let's let's put ourselves in there. It's a number of things. I mean, um, yeah. Okay, it's a number of things. You know, let's look at the times we are living in right now. And right. let me just say this from the onset: that there's no good enough reason to abandon your family. It means okay. you're not a man; you're a boy. Okay, right. you are a boy. And you should not have gotten yourself into a relationship and had children because you are a boy who just have a male organ. Having a male organ does not make you a man. Okay? That's it. That's it. Um, yeah. So now, our, now, on the back of that, you know, um, I mean, we're living in very interesting times, Princess White, where um, many people have, uh, especially if you're a father and you are a breadwinner, you are a supposed to be a provider, you are a husband, etc. You know, you need to take care of your wife, etc. etc. Right. You know, um, uh, what, what, you know, there's so much responsibility that one needs to, that the thing that they need to do. And then you'll find that now there's COVID and, I mean, so many things are taking place that are having a strain on your finances, so many things that have a strain, and the, the financials are strained, you're going to strain your relationship. Yeah. You understand? Because now you need to try to find alternative ways of, of, right. of getting in the income, okay? Which sometimes right. is not even coming. It's happened in South Africa, yeah. You, there's about right. 2.4 million people that have lost their job, okay? Right. And I'm talking about 80% of these are being professional. professionals. Professionals right. in the corporate sector. People have, have, have <clears throat> let people go. And that could be another contributing factor to why people could do what we're discussing now, which is to leave their families. But then again, I mean, you know, when you don't know the Lord, when you are not in Christ, you know, you, you, you feel like you are the beginning and the end of all. You understand? It's all up to you. You must make it happen. You must use your strength, your power, your intelligence. So yeah. when your intelligence fails, when your will and your way and your hustle fails, then what right. do you do next? You see? But when you are in Christ, you know that you have a God that will never leave you nor forsake you. You understand? Right. He is right. Jehovah Jireh. He is the provider. So mm -hmm. you, 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 you leave it up to the Lord. He said, you know, you leave it up to me. And yeah. then God, you know, then you have the Holy Spirit who is inside who will counsel you, strengthen you, guide you, and direct you. So um, living there now does not become an option. But living right. outside the will of God I yeah. mean, I've heard of many stories. Men will take off. They will take right. off, you know. Right. And then maybe again, a contributing factor could be maybe on the lady side. What if the lady is misbehaving? You know, what right. if the lady now mm -hmm. is abusing the man, saying that, hey, bro, you're not bringing in the bacon anymore, you know. Right. I mean, what's going on? I mean, I, I, I want to maintain a lifestyle. I want to live a certain way. And yeah. you are just not adding up. The sins are not adding up. And um, right. and she's then the guy now is frustrated, and guess what? He tells you one night he's gonna mm -hmm. take out the trash, and that's the last time you see him, which is a coward yeah. move. But um, right. as I said, there's not there's, there's not good enough reason. Yeah. Right, right. So let me welcome, welcome the other guests. Um, 
Mr. Abraham Ayo, all the way from um, Ghana, joining us now. Um, thank you so much for taking time to join us today, um, Mr. Ayo. Um, <clears throat> we're talking about why do some men run from their responsibilities? So, um, Minister Martin PK has said his part. Do you also, what do you think? I know you're a father and I know you're a responsible father. So why do you think a man will wake up one day and say that, you know what, enough is enough, or maybe I am not going to take responsibility of my, my children anymore? What do you think? I know you are not, but then let's put ourselves in that position, thinking, okay, why would a man do that? Oof. Well, for me, right. mostly it's financially, you know? Okay. I always right. say, I mean, when, when, when um, you're not ready, you don't go for it. That's it. it. So, That's it. but um, um, like you know, sometimes due to you, the women, the kind of stress you guys let her go, you, you let us go through. You know, right. all those things count. Are we going, so, are we going there? Are we going so, there? <laughs> so, but maybe, maybe sometimes the guy who might leave, but like right. I mean, taking care of his uh, kids, right, is a must. You understand but a mother can make a dad hate the child okay you understand mm. okay you know so okay. i mean there are so many ways that i mean but mm. i always say is financially that's the, right. the number one financially because right. when the uh when he's providing every time or when he's yeah. working hard and yeah providing yeah. So, so financially, so, you know it's difficult you know right so me number one is financial financial yeah. okay well well you, you made you made a point you made a point that maybe it's the woman who is causing maybe let me use the word wahala isn't it so we may we'll push you men away but must that affect the, the, the children yeah <laughs> must yeah. That affect the anyway yeah you be boy you be boy <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I, I've got my gangs with me well, today. So you know, the, the, ladies, the ladies with me. I'm the only lady today, so. <laughs> All right. No, that, 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 that thing is Okay, um, where are my know, ladies? If you're watching me, please help me out here. You the women, you ladies, come with please help me out here, please. Oh, <laughs> most, of, most of you women are never satisfied with anything. Oh, God. So no matter what we do, you're not satisfied with it. Okay, <laughs> ladies, if you're watching, please, I've seen your comment. Please help me out here. Do you do you do you agree with um, what I'm um, 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 Are you do you agree with him? Is, is it is it our prop? I mean, our cost. Are we the one who costs it? Oh, okay. Thank you. I've seen. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read these messages to you because someone is disagreeing for, for, here. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait. For example, you are in a yeah. relationship with a guy. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and every yeah. time you you hear the guy saying, "Oh, I'm not ready for a child. I'm not ready for a child." Okay, and then all of a sudden you come to tell him you are pregnant. What do you say? <laughs> really? <laughs> what, what, what do you expect? <laughs> really? If, if the guy, is, if the guy has, if the guy, you know, most of we the guy to we the guys we are very stupid, and you don't want a child. So when you are going, right. you have to protect yourself. But most right. of us don't. Right. But we keep saying we, we don't want a child. We don't want a child. But we don't okay. protect ourselves. The, the girl too, you too have to be smart. <laughs> so yeah. if you get pregnant, then you come tell him, what do you expect? The only thing sure. you come and tell you, okay, let's find a way to get rid of it. And if you don't get rid of it, then mm -hmm. you see that the guy is going to hate even the child more than you. Right. You understand right. what I mean? Right. So, so okay. I mean, you you also have to play a role. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So, Minister, what do you have to say about this? This um, uh, what um, uh, um, Mr. Ayu is saying. What do you think about uh, that? Because what he said no, is true. Broad, because, a... right? Some some men will hate will hate their children because of the woman, and it's it, it's the honest truth that he's saying. But do you think it is the right thing to do? Do you think? What do you think about that? Well, for example, right now we are we are pointing out different scenarios, okay? Yeah. Um, what if the woman is putting the pressure, etc., yeah. etc.? 
But um, I, I, I've got a feeling that, you know, the man to walk out, you know, when you are a man, if you look yeah. at a man biblically, you understand right. you are a protector, you understand right. you are a provider, you right. see, you are the one that takes care, you don't, ex you are the head, so don't right. expose the body. If you remove the head off your neck, you understand, yeah. your body has yeah. no direction. Right. So, I, well, that's our responsibility, so it doesn't matter how hard or how difficult the problem is, a man has to man up. You understand? Right. So you gotta right. have to, I mean, if, it is, if it's financial, yeah. you know, you got to find something to do and provide, you know? If you can't provide, get on your knees and pray, you know? So all I can say about that is there's so many scenarios, you know, a woman can be a, contradic a, a contributing factor. So, right. But at the end of the day, we need to mitigate the risks, you know, and ensure that um, the outcome should not issue because that's what that's the problem. That's why we're having problems in the world because right. of a fatherless generation. Do you understand? Right. Fathers, uh, single mothers raising up boys, the boys have to grow up too quick and take care of their mother because the father is in prison or the mm -hmm. father ran away. So it's, it, it, it's a bigger problem. Do you understand? It's a bigger thing. So if you if you can keep it, if you can manage it and really do your best by the special grace of God to handle it at an early stage, then you can save, you know, you can save someone else's family being destroyed because that boy grows up with that same mindset. He gets into a relationship and he's got no balance, he's got no speaking mm -hmm. ability. All he knows if there's problems, he runs away. You know, then he becomes a runaway. You know, so um, it's broad, it's broad, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've, 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 like I said, I've seen the comments here. We couldn't have the time for um, Mr. Ibrahim Ayo to introduce himself. But um, quickly, quickly, tell us who you are because people are watching. Um, they know they've heard about Superman, but they don't know you. There are some people who are not Ghanaians who don't know who Mr. Ibrahim Ayo is. So quickly, oh, okay. who are you, please? Okay, um, I'm Ibrahim Ayo. Um, right. uh, I'm a Ghanaian footballer. That right. is what I can say. Yeah, <laughs> there is more to say. Basic if you spin, want, though, if so. you know, if you know, but I'm um, on vacation in Ghana. You vacation in Ghana, yes. Um, if you know, uh, um, the Ghanaian, yeah. the most popular, um, let me say, Abedi Pele, right? That's the the, the son, Abedi Pele, Ghana, um, international footballer, and he's also a footballer. I think he runs with the family. Um, you got you got brothers who are also footballers, isn't it? Yeah, we are three. Yeah, so they've got the, fam the family is footballers. So please watch watch but out for. But she's not a footballer. But she's not a footballer though. Who is that? She. She. <laughs> Before she right. people, I think she's also a footballer. Oh okay okay yeah. right. But most of the family members are footballers. It runs, it runs in their family, isn't it? And also, I want to apologize for Superman, uh, to Superman for being late. So, oh. but, <laughs> I want to apologize. <laughs> it's okay. We do understand. No Don't worry. We do understand. Um, thank you. We saw, we saw it's a privilege. And it's, it's an honor for you to take your time to join us. So we really appreciate that. So thank you once again for joining us. You're thank welcome. you so much. You're welcome. Yes. So we still mm -hmm. we're still talking about why do some men run from their responsibility because of the time. Let me go through what some people said to me, the reasons why they choose or they chose to run thank out. That's right. Yes. yes. Yeah, I, I think it won't be fair for me not to I didn't know who Ibrahim Ayu was, but I know the surname. So allow me as well to enjoy him because you seem to know a lot about him. I, I love football and of course who doesn't know the great Abedi Pele, you know, and um, of course the Ayu brothers. Um, thank you so much for being great stewards, you know, for Ghana in the football. I'm a big fan, you know, of you guys. You're welcome. And, um, I come to Ghana a lot. I've got a good foundation set up in Ghana um, of brothers there. So now I've got a friend in Ghana. Oh, you're always so, welcome. Man, we fly in. We've got a friend in Ghana. Thank you so much. We have a friend. We have a friend. You don't have any. You don't have. You don't have problem. Just come. 
right, right. So it's, it's awesome. nice. Anytime, anytime you visit Anna, yes, get in touch with him. And then um, he's a wonderful man, great man, a great sure, footballer, and he's achieving great. So, Minister, anytime you come to Ghana, look for um, Mr. Ayu. He's a wonderful man, a great footballer, and we love him so much. We watch you. We love you so much. We we, we are so grateful and honored to have you as our as our footballer. You know, we don't we don't joke with our footballers because they they take us far oh, in the world. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. And thank you. Superman, thank you. thank you. It's an honor also to have you after all your your hectic programs and everything you do. You took time to come and be with us, and we yeah. are so grateful so much for, oh, come for coming on. on the show. You don't have to. You don't have to thank me. What are our friends for? <laughs> what are our friends for? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. right okay guys keep on all right keep on bringing up i've got a lot of comments here i want us to go through this quick, quickly so that we can go through all the comments that we have a lot of comments are going through thank you guys for cheering in please subscribe hit the subscribe button we are live now on lively tv uk on abedin tv nigeria live now both on facebook on youtube and also on princess royce youtube channel okay so this is what I got from someone, right? He said, someone said, he said, Princess, I refuse to take care of my children because of their mother. He refused to take care of his children because of, of their mother. And the reason is that he said, she doesn't respect me. Because the woman does not respect him, he has decided not to take care of the kids. And I do understand from his point of view, but what do you men think? Is that the right reason for him to reject the guy? I mean, the kids, Mr. You, what you want? Well, you, what I you want to say? This is this shouldn't be a reason. This right. shouldn't be a reason. What have the kids done to you? You know, the kids hey. they are innocent children, so they know right. nothing. If right. you have your, the issue with your wife, mm -hmm. it's between you and your wife. You shouldn't even let well, the kids yes. know what is going on. Right. You right. understand what I mean? So, yes. with, with, I mean, he's just running away from his responsibility. It's simple as that. Right. Typical excuse, isn't it? <laughs> That's not reason. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> come on. If, right. the, kid, um, the, wife, if the wife is disrespecting him, <laughs> the kids don't disrespect you as a father. Right. Right. You know? Right. So, yes. And how old are even the kids? How old are the kids? Right. It depends on age, kids. you know. Maybe they the kids. kids. Pardon? Mm. They are little, little kids. kids. They're and not that. You have to be there for them. Right. Right. When they are that, when they are very little, they are innocent. You know, they know right. nothing. Right. So I don't. This is right. not an excuse. Right. He's just running away from his responsibility. From responsibilities. That is it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. If you listen to me, my brother, this is the answer from um, 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 Mr. Ayo. It's not a reason. It's not a reason. What What do our Superman also want to say uh, to to what um, Mr. Ayo said? Said I uh, have just said, please. I think Ibrahim said it all. Um, right. There's really Perfectly. nothing to add there. That's just a simple, as simple as it is. Yeah. yeah. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you for your comments. Please keep it coming. We're going to read all your comments and we're going to be quick today because i don't want to take my gentleman time they are very 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 i mean i mean they've got a lot to do we are very very busy men so i don't want to take their time too much so we're going to go through quickly and what another man said that i wish i could care for my children but i don't have the money and he added i'm poor he said he's poor so he can he, he wish he can take care of the kids while he's poor he doesn't have the money to take care of them so do you think it's a reason why for him to not to be part of the, the, the kids' lives? No. Right. Ibrahim is already shaking his head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I mean maybe no, the guy, but, but, the guy you know, is being sincere. Like I said, you know, we all don't have the, we don't have the same kind of, um, like I said, so many things have happened in the, in the right. world, right? And yeah. um, But this guy is saying he's poor. You know, um, I think that I don't know which part of the world he is. You know, if he's in Europe, there are structures for things like this where they can get grants and things like that. Yeah. Right here in South Africa, there's the same structure where people can get grants. You know what I mean? 
but that also does not now allow him not time to try to get something to get on his feet you understand and then take and start supporting his children but at least he's not saying he's left his children or yeah. has he left the children or no, he's he, just poor he can't support i think, I think he, he, he 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 has left them because he feel that he cannot give them the support yeah. that he's supposed to give so he's left he's left them then it's a different story then it's, yes. then it's a different story then it yeah. goes back to what Ibrahim was saying earlier. Same. You know, yeah. um, it, it, it's lack of responsible. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, let's let's go through it together. Like I saw with the English, the English football team when they lost the final. There's something that yeah. the players were saying. Listen, we win together mm-hmm. and we lose together. Together. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. if if there's no money, go through the thing together. Yes. Yeah. Don't leave them exposed. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I think I think it's not it's not only only the money. The, it, your presence alone is enough. Yeah, that's, that's what I was about to say. Good. Yeah, that's what right. I was about to say. You Good. spend time with them, have a conversation with them. You right. know, let them understand your situation. Yeah. You know, if mm-hmm. they do understand your situation, then mm-hmm. they know where you're coming from. So they wouldn't they wouldn't bother you that much. They know right. because they know when you have, mm-hmm. you you give. Right. You know, so right. you know that's why we just spend time with the kids. That's right. most important. Be in their life. Perfect. And some women, some women, we can sacrifice, isn't it? As long as love is there, a woman does not mind to to to, to be there. I mean, to to, to support to support you in any way she can. So, like you said, your presence alone is enough for the for the children, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. I see, I see your comment coming. I'm not. People are saying read your comment. I'm going to read all your comment before we finish today. Thank you for the comment. Please keep them coming. And thank you for tuning in. Is this is the Pinky Room Show with Princess Roy? And I've got my wonderful Superman, Minister Martin PK, um, all the way from South Africa, and um, also Abraham Ayo, um, our international footballer, and with uh, with me on this show. So the next person said, he said. I have okay, all right. So my kid's mom, he's saying that my kid's mom took them, took them from me. He said my kid's mom took them from me. So I decided not to be responsible to them. Because the mom took the children from from the man. I think there was a problem and she took the kids. So because of that, the man is so angry that he doesn't want to have anything to do with the kids. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys have to tell me something. I was, I was you know, know, you know, no, this one, this one, this one is this question is just like the first question. It's the same, isn't the it? The mom took them. Yes. Yeah, the man took them. Uh, the yeah. woman took them. Has he tried? Right. Has he tried? Going for the kids, at least go to go and see the kids. Right. No. A good question. Yeah. A you good know? question. So, mm. so he's running away from me. Simple. You that is not, so, that so, is not a reason. Um, it? If the woman if the woman takes the kids away, mm-hmm. at least you know you have the right to know where they are going, where they live. Same. What they are up to, the school they go. So if there is a problem, at least they can get in contact with you. Because these days kids grow so fast. They will ask, where is our dad? Why are you guys not together anymore? Why are we not seeing him anymore? You know? So I mean he's just running away from it. That's it. He's running away. Right. Is there anything you want to add to it, um, Superman? Is there anything else? What you say? <laughs> no, it's, not, it's, not, it's not good enough you know it's not good enough it's not good enough you know i'm yet to, i'm yet to get a i'm yet to, to hear yeah you can't you can't leave you can't leave your children you know um and i'm not even advocating for them to leave their wives but you know people they've got their own issues etc yeah but the children that you bring to this world you brought them in you know they didn't yeah. ask for it you went and you did the tango with the mother you know and um for a certain period of their lives 
you need to provide for them until they can start marrying themselves. You know, and they need to they need that upbringing. They need to understand. They need to gain some valuable lessons about life. So I think this topic really it, it is just painting the men to look real bad. You know, because they are all coming up with real stupid, uh, and silly. <laughs> Silly reason, you know, right. silly reason, and silly you know, reason. So I, I, nothing will justify it. Right, yeah, you're a man, you know, as a man, you know, you gotta, you know, <laughs> I mean, if you can, if you can, if you, if you have the, if you have the wisdom to make the children, you should yes. have the wisdom to take care of them. If you know how to make them, so you should yeah. know how to provide for them. Simple. for them, you know what I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there is some, some. I think, I think some of them. When you hear it, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna punch, punch, you're gonna punch the screen. Trust me. Because when I saw, I'm a, I'm a lady. When I saw, I got angry. I was like, really, for real? So the way you men are sounding, I bet you, you're going to punch your screen very soon. So let's let's listen to another man. Who, what what he said? He's saying that he said, princess, I have two teenagers. He's got two teenagers, right? Well, he has decided not to take care of them because they, they, they do not respect respect him as a father. Two teenagers. They live together. Mm. He's not he's not divorced with the family. He's not divorced with the wife. They're still living together. But he has decided not to take care of them anymore because they don't respect him as a father. Yeah, kick them out the house. Mm. <laughs> if, they, if, if they are if they are eating your food, you are providing their food. You are play, paying for their school fees, and right. they disrespect you. Mm. Kick them out because it means they are grown up enough. If they can talk back to you and disrespect right. you, kick them out, right. and then they will learn sense. They will gain sense from the street. They will come back and they will respect you. Simple. No, because right. especially in African families, African families you don't spare the rubber. But now it depends what country it is. Maybe if you can't beat them, kick them out. You know, right. because if they are so grown to disrespect you, it's and the man is in the house, he's taking right. care of them. He has not left them. He's not run away from them. Right. So, you know, I love my kids. I'm I'm raising them well. You understand? But um, I, I God forbid where they'll go to a place and start disrespecting. You know, uh, they they know the way to the door. I'll show right. them the door. <laughs> and then they'll come back and be in the right place. Don't you think so? It's, it's not too harsh. It's, it's harsh. youth. You know, you know the youth, when they get to this teenage age, they, they, they become something else. Uh. So, <laughs> Me, I, I was kicked out of the house when I was 15 years old. At 15. <laughs> you understand? Because I was, I was disrespectful. You know? Right. I was, I was, you know, they kicked me. And then, I, and then the cold. When it came night and I was outside <laughs> and I'm hungry, I'm missing that back. bowl of soup that my mother made. I thought, I said, no, rather let me respect myself. <laughs> I went back home. I apologized. I got the whipping, got the lashes. Then I remained home. Now I've got my own home and I'm right. disciplined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, uh, uh, Mr. Ayo, what do, you, what do you have to say about this? Do you, you so think what, 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 what his name is right? Oh. I mean, you know, we've all done it before. You know? these, these are very strong fathers. When, yeah, wow. when you go out and you see life itself, you come right. back and apologize. Okay. You know, okay. so what he's saying is 100%. <laughs> did, you, did you go no, to the no. same? As soon as, you did know, you as soon as they, they become teenagers. Yeah. As soon as they become teenagers, then they think of they are they are the same age with their dad, you know. So they but want to work together. You, know, you know, are you? You know that you you were teenage once, once, once a teenage. You know that, don't you? Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's I, what I, I'm I, saying. <laughs> what did you go that's through? What, what happened to you? What when? Are you trying to? I don't. I don't have to. I don't have to expose myself. It's okay. Let me just leave it here. <laughs> I've done worse, worse. But, worse. I, I, I was, but I was never kicked out, out though. But right. weeping alone. Yeah, but I mean, let me just leave it there. <laughs> one slap, one slap will make you think. <laughs> you start thinking straight. One slap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. But the funny thing 
the, the funny thing is raising kids in europe is, is something else to be honest you know in this country a child has he can do anything that he wants especially when they get to teenage they have their, they know their rights and even in the schools they will teach them that if your parents are beating you they call it abuse right so report them so some kids will can even call police for their parents so in this case what are you going to do you see how how difficult it is raising kids in in, in places like this i know That's in ghana I I, yes. i've always mm -hmm. said when yeah. you back in europe mm -hmm. when they are up five six yeah i always advise for you to bring them to africa africa right to your country right. to yeah. see the kind of privilege they have they have Right. you know the advantages yeah. they have so yeah. that when they go whatever they see there they will appreciate or whatever right. you give them they will appreciate you put them in a school for a year mm -hmm. for them to see what people are going through here yeah. so that yeah. when they go back whatever it is they will appreciate they will learn. They will learn. you know that's a good advice that's a very good advice i went through the same thing i went through the same thing as a little child i, I was taking back to ghana to go and experience the lifestyle there. So when I came back, I learned a lot, to be honest. It, it shaped me. So I, I I was much disciplined. You know, I wouldn't have known what would become of me if I, I didn't go back to, to Ghana to learn the culture, to know, you know, to go through certain hardship. And I mean, to, to, to know, as, a, as an only child, you can imagine what I've, I, would, I would have become. So yeah, it's true. It's true. Okay, so let's let's run through it quickly because I don't want to take much time today, honestly. Um, the other person said that I was not ready for a child, and I remember I think Ayo mentioned this. He said I, I'm not ready. I was not ready for a child. The lady got pregnant, so I am not taking care of the child. So he is not ready for a child. Yet the lady is pregnant, and he's chosen not to take care of the child, just like that. Just like that. I wasn't, honestly, I was angry. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, what do you, what do you have to say, um, Superman? What, what do you have to say about this? But let me, let me ask you a question. Right. Okay, so there's many ways. I mean, you can, we all, we are adults here. Yeah? And, um, yeah. you know, like prevention, etc., etc. et cetera. Mm -hmm. you know, maybe the lady was careless or maybe it was, there was maliciousness. Right. whatever it was but mm -hmm. if she's already expected do you know yeah. what i mean you yeah. know whether you are ready unfortunately or well it's never a child is never a curse a child is a blessing right it's a blessing you right. know and yeah. under the circumstances that because many people they can't even get it people are getting right. miscarriages and stuff like that and right. it's just terrible so like as he said he was not ready so all yeah. i can say get ready Laura. You know, just be ready. Get, get ready. <laughs> because, yeah, because I'm not, I'm not, I don't support um, abortion and all those things. But, yeah. You know? So I would say, I would say, I would say he should get ready and do the best he can, you know. But yeah. that lady, I mean, yeah. of course, she's going to pay the consequences for that because um, that relationship is not going to be a quite sweet relationship. It's going right. to go back to what we, we started talking about. When you were opening up your show, when this man went and beat his yeah. wife, and um, yeah. you know what I mean, because he's gonna be angry at it because it's almost like yeah. a setup, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. he has to now put aside some of his ambitions if he wanted to be a musician or whatever the case may be, you know, all those stuff has to wait because now yeah. there's a third person in the picture and he has to start, to, he has to take care of the baby. And well, why, why, I don't see that why relationship why do last. Men always have to go through. It's like every time we have to suffer. Why do we have to suffer? No, you put yourself there. What do you mean? Why do you have to no, suffer? We put ourselves there. No. Exactly. But, you know, we put, how do we put ourselves there? Remember that you saw you saw this lady so beautiful, and you chased her. Some men will yeah. never give. They will never give up until they get a lady. Right. No matter how you push them away, they will never give up. And then you 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 end up doing whatever you want to do with me. And then you said, "Oh, you know what? I gave. How did I give myself to you? You chased me. You made me feel like you loved me. You made me feel like you were there for me. That is why I gave you the chance. So why 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 should I be blamed? 
are you what, what what are you saying about this because i know you you are so strong about this one and uh, i am ready <laughs> why should you be blamed like, like you see it, you see when when you know life i always say life is all about taking risk right even though you know maybe from the way the guy talk when yeah. some mostly we african our problem is listening yeah when yeah. someone is talking we don't listen right the person just says something and uh, okay you know and most african girls too they put in themselves in those situations because when mm -hmm. a lot of guys are chasing them they think they are hot cake right oh okay you understand what i mean so yeah. she feels so you know so but coming to your question like you put yourself there because when the guy is talking you are not listening when right. you are going into a relationship communication mm -hmm. is very very important right so when right. you are with the guy you have to listen to him carefully red right. flags you you see a lot of red flags that's when right. you also you have to start advising yourself when you see right. those kind of red flags mm -hmm. you know for example okay. Okay. So, can you be clear uh, to us what is red flags because I don't know. I don't know. I've got no idea about what you're saying. I don't know which one is it. Red flags and stuff. So that I can look out. The, the ladies who are watching, who are not yet married, can also learn from that. So what, what can we learn from what you're saying? What's the red flag that we should be we should be watching out for? For like, um, for instance, I don't know what you, I mean, what to say as an example, but like, you okay. hear the guy, I mean, he only calls you when he needs you. Right. When he wants you. You understand? Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, he he doesn't go out with you. He doesn't go on date with you. Mm. All those things are red flags. Okay. You know, okay. the only time he wants to see you is come to my house. Right. Mm. You, you understand what I mean? So yeah. all these things are red flags. Okay. I mean, if a guy really loves you, to take mm -hmm. you on you you guys, you plan your day according to whatever you guys are doing. Your schedule. Sure. You go sure. on date night. You go lunch. You know, you see each other. You go for movies. You know. So that like he introduce you to his real friends not just everyone right you, you right. understand mm -hmm. you know so th these are some of the things that i'm talking about you have to be watching out for yeah okay so young ladies that you are watching these are the things is they're giving us the clue right the men are giving us the clue so let our eyes be open so that we will not we will not fall for them so well, that the we will not get the change them the run away from us <laughs> 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 right <laughs> is anything that you wanted to say um mr yo no i said if you you guys know now so we will change okay. it we know now thank you yeah. for giving so us we the are going to change we are going to use a different formula <laughs> you, did you hear what he said you're going to change it <laughs> <laughs> Minister is just shaking his head. Are you? You are causing trouble on the show today. You. I know, right? Oh, you're that's gonna, why you invited you're gonna, me. <laughs> right. We're gonna be smart. We're gonna be very smart, lady. Let's be smart, yeah. okay? Because if not, we're gonna be blamed for everything, okay? <laughs> okay so let's let's get on to i think i've got two more yeah then we, we go so um another man said he said princess a woman got pregnant for me i asked her to abort the baby um but she refused he said he's married he is married right and he doesn't want a child out of wedlock so my question is he is married he chose to to cheat on the wife and then got another woman pregnant and now you are said, telling the woman to abort the baby and because she did not abort the baby you choose to walk out you choose to not take responsibility of the child do you think that's the right thing for him to do minister what what do you what do you what do you have to say about this what's your take about this no i think you know my position on that right yeah right yeah. you you are not for abortion but then this is this is the case i'm pro-life i'm pro-life i'm pro-life i'm pro-life you know right i'm pro-life and um yeah. yeah and then i said you know to just to hear this just to hear this kind of things for me because this is serious stuff yeah. because i mean 
I deal with the townships here in South Africa. You know, I do um, outreaches. I get to sit with people who are less privileged, as the Lord has asked me to do. You know, I get to minister when I'm abroad. I do the same thing. And um, when, when, when I see these kind of things, you know, it, it, look, it looks good while it's happening. You understand? It looks like um, it's good. But then when, when there's a problem now, I mean, what is the man doing there in the first place? I thought he's married. Do you understand? Now, what, not, not, so, it's, it, unfortunately, you know, and it's not a black thing. It's just, it's, it's a general thing, you know, um, whether you're white or whatever the case may be. You know, I've got a lot of white friends here, you know, who who have experienced one thing or the other. So it's just sad to hear these kind of things because and it's, part, it's part of life, you know. And um, people are doing what they need to do, but I'm pro-life, you know. I would never advise anybody to take a life, you know, by a abortion and all those kind of things. And um, that's because, I mean, the Bible tells us not to do that. You know, so I will not, I will not, I will not violate the Bible of, of an era. You already went out of your relationship. Yes. You know, you yeah. know to go fornicate, yeah. and then what were you expecting? I mean, you got a side chick or side dish, whatever you want to call it. You know, and uh, <laughs> yeah. you, I mean, you went there. You where was where were your brains? So you yeah. went there. What are you expecting? You know, you you are not clearly you're not satisfied. Yeah. You went and did your thing, and now yeah. you can't make your cake and eat it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, there it is. So, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. one, that one, I leave it to Ibrahim. Ibrahim will probably Ibra- give us Ibrahim will tell better. us. Uh, Ibrahim, what is your take about this? Oh, uh, uh, you know, you know, if you are married and you are going into a relationship, don't expect your side chick also to be sleeping. Like, um, of course, she also wants to take the position. Right. You understand? So whatever she will also do to take that position, she's gonna do it. Right. That is the main reason why she doesn't want to abort the baby. But if she aborts right. the baby and something happens to right. her, mm-hmm. you, 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 you understand? Yes. Because even you, the man, you know you are married, you are going you are going to cheat. That's not good, but at least protect yeah. yourself. Right. If you don't right. want that, then protect yourself. Right. You know? So mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, well, at the end of the day, the child will come and the child will still go look for the dad. Yeah. And that's yeah. where you have to answer the question. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. you know, we men also, you know, we have a lot of problems as well. True. Honestly. Yeah, some of us. Honest. Yeah. You know, by you, the woman, also, you being a side chick, what, what do you want? You know, the man is what, married. What do you want? What do you accept? <laughs> Why do you accept? <laughs> well, listen, it could be it could be any reason, you know. It could be any reason. Yeah, I, I know it could be it could be the yeah. man of going to say, Oh, I want to leave my wife so that I'll come and take you. Marry you. <laughs> you, you know? Yeah, you know, so the, 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 the so things that you that would tell women sometimes it's it's, it's it's I don't know. I think because some what, because some women are like kids. Because some women are like kids, they want to hear sweet things. <laughs> You know, really? they want to hear something sweet. Yeah, <laughs> when, when you tell them sweet things, that's what you they tell like. Them sweet things. <laughs> yeah, you know, right. when you tell them sweet things, that is what they want to hear. They that's like, what they want to like, hear. Yeah, so you tell them what they want to hear. You know, we guys, some of us, if we go into a relationship, we study the woman. Yeah. What she likes and what she likes to hear. And most, most about eighty percent now are material things. Yeah. So, you know, so I'll, I'll buy you a bag. I'll buy you this bag. This, I'll buy you yes, this bag. I'll buy you yes. this shoe. Yes. Yeah, I'll do this for you. I'll do that. Yeah, that's what they want to hear. Yeah. 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 And but, then it's a, and shame, and, it's a shame that nowadays the young women want to be with married men, isn't it? That's what is, that's the trend now, isn't it? Which is not, which is not good. Not just but a married man, man, but a rich married man. Mm-hmm. Not just a married man. Yeah. The rich, so that, yes. because those yeah. are the lazy ones. Who does not want right. to work? Who, right. don't, who feel right. like they don't have a future? In right. uh, they don't have a future, right. you know. Because if right. you are ambitious, you can build yourself. Right. You know, right. mm-hmm. you can be independent so that even when the guy is coming, the guy knows who he is coming for. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You set you set your exactly. standards 
I mean, out there. You know, right. but if you don't set your standards and you don't want to work, mm -hmm. then every, you are going to be used by everyone. Exactly. And it's sadly. That's that's and much be older, you, go, that. you go and you are looking for marriage. I mean, it's not it's not easy. You know, things are not done like that. You, you're going after someone who is married. The thing is, you know, yeah. you're a woman. Someone is married. Why are you going after his the husband? Because you know, you know, obviously, no matter what the man would tell you, he would he's not gonna leave his wife to come and marry you. Some okay, some men would choose to marry you hey. if you want to be a second wife. That's 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 it. But obviously, he's not gonna leave his wife to come and marry you. Even, even if he leaves the wife, wife, I can give you assurance that he's gonna leave you also and go for another person. Of course, hundred percent true. You see, that's so, real. Talk. Yeah. yeah, that's real talk. So, yeah. Honestly, it's like that. <laughs> Yeah. It is. It, it, it's something that's happening. Well, honestly, now I, I I don't blame the man much with this situation because I I was thinking why why should a woman give herself in the in the first place because she knows that you're married. Like mm -hmm. you said, maybe she has she has an agenda. Maybe she thought maybe if she got pregnant and she keep the baby, mm -hmm. she would take over the marriage. Some women does yeah. that, isn't it? Which is not a yeah. good thing. So, men, if you're watching, please, wherever you are, young state that you're coming up, learn from this. Learn from this. Our men are telling us, they're advising us to be a hard workers. We should step, set our, our standard high so that when a man is coming, he you you will earn that respect from him. Don't go after somebody's somebody's husband thinking that he's going to leave a wife. In the first place, it's not a good thing. You are breaking a home, which is not a good thing. So, don't learn from that. It's not a good thing. So, let's stop that and fight for our own work hard we can also make it and be supportive to our partners or our husbands the helpers that god has made us to become to help them not to depend or maybe break homes to take somebody's husband it's not good so the last one that i'm going to share i'm not going to talk about anymore because your time you're so tired i don't want to take much of your time the last one i'm going to read and then we'll go through the, um, the messages and then we, we we will run up and um close this show so the last one he said that my wife got pregnant. She told me the child wasn't mine. They married. They, she, she got pregnant and said that the child is not for the husband. And then later, she, she said, oh, the, son, the child is for, is for the man. So now the man is angry now, saying that I don't want to be in the marriage anymore. I want to divorce her. And I don't want to have anything to do with her and the child. Which is, to me, this is a very, very delicate situation. Honestly, very delicate situation that I was, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Why is it, why is it delicate? Why is it delicate? Because the, the reason being that, to me, I feel like the child is innocent, right? But now, like the woman is saying that first it wasn't for the man. And now it's for the man. So what if he walks away, divorce the wife, and the child is his? Yeah, but I mean, let's start with the woman saying the child is not his. What, what does that mean to you as a woman? Let's That's practicalize it. You, you are a woman, you are coming to your husband, not your boyfriend. Okay? That's it. Yeah. You, are, you are pregnant and you say your it's child not is not yours. Because she cheated. What does that mean? She cheated she and she admitted to the point that she, yes mm -hmm. so there's nothing delicate about that there that's already a strike it's very clear what happened there. but maybe right. some people don't think it's clear then later on yeah and of course there's a few things to check if the child is yours you can do dhs and all that kind of things, right? that's it and then so and then now she comes back later and yeah. says the child is his so what happened? What changed? What changed when she That's found out that, that the child is not the husband? That's the thing. But you see, from the onset, you see, right. from the onset, the woman is in error here. Like what, like what Ibrahim was saying earlier. You know, yeah. don't be childish. You understand? Yeah. That is a very men. Men have killed themselves because of those kind of people. You understand? They went and killed themselves and committed suicide because of that. So that woman is very childish. Yeah. Like I said earlier, 
what makes you a man is not your male organ and also what makes you a woman is not your your breast how big they are or how small they are whatever the case may be you see you got to have some level of sense you understand and some sensitivity and some understanding so for you to come and tell your husband is not your child you know i mean you know the way you 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 know, I wish we had time because you know I could pull out the Bible and start going through it for you now. But in yeah. respect of time, yeah. that woman is a very, you know, she's very silly. You understand? Right. She's a silly woman. Right. She's yeah. a childish. Yeah. She's a girl. Right. You know, she's right. still, still, still play with dolls. Yeah. She must go play with dolls and practice on dolls. You right. know, and practice on a ball. like use the doll, the baby, the girl doll, and the boy doll, and right. st and and start playing games, okay? Because yes. you don't play those kind of games. Right. at the level of marriage even her life can be in danger you understand right. even That's her right. life can be in danger because That's that anger right. could cause the man to kill him to kill her and kill himself you right. understand now you have a baby that's so so yeah the sister there needs to go check herself one more time she, she yeah. does yeah because, because the thing is it's not it's not we we always blame the men that men are cheating but this is a clear cheating a clear cheating a woman cheating on the husband so now the husband doesn't want to marry anymore he wants to divorce but now, whose baby was it? <laughs> that, the man is asking. So we, we, we have to, he needs advice what to do. Well, he still doesn't know if it's his baby. He, he's not sure. No, he's still not sure. Let, let, well, let him go do a DNA test now. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. if in this case, if he goes and to check and the baby is, is his, would you advise him to stay still stay in the marriage with the wife? Hmm. I'll, I'll let the man go in first, and then this is the last question. Him, what do you have to say? Yeah, this is the last question. Yeah. I mean, I think we have any technical issues. Ibrahim is loaded. Yeah, I'm here. I think you ran away from that. I'm here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, can you hear me? We can hear you. Mm -hmm. we can, hear can, you. can you hear me now? Yes, it's better now. Yeah. Oh, well. You, you see what I was saying? You women. Right. Yeah. You know? You put yourself mm -hmm. in certain situations that you know you, you might not be able to come out. Come out. Perfect. You know, some guys, yeah. well, it depends. So she was cheating mm -hmm. or sleeping right. around yeah. with other men. And I mean, yeah. like the uh, minister said, at least the woman should should be smart. You just got pregnant. You don't even know who the. I think maybe the, she has gone to the other guy, who she's cheating yeah. with, and the man yes. is also saying that's not my child. That is why right. now she has come back to say right. it's the man's child. Right. You know. Okay. She, yeah. She, so at least she could have waited. She be yeah. so stupid and everything. She could have yeah. waited when she gives birth. Yes. Then she's sick for DNA. Okay. Mm. You know, after the DNA, then mm -hmm. they know who the dad is. I it's my choice. Me, people's marriage, I, I don't like to get involved. Yeah. Mm. I'll never advise anyone to leave the wife. Because yeah. we can talk, we can, me and the person can discuss something now. After the person and the wife will be alone in the room. You don't know what they are going to discuss. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, yeah. with that, me, I, I don't know if he wants to stay in the marriage or he wants to leave. It's, it's, it's wants his leave. choice. His choice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So he right now the only advice I can give him is yeah. for him to wait. When the child is being born, he yeah. go for the DNA. If it's his yeah. child, fair enough. He he yeah. can take his child and say and decide. I don't want the marriage anymore. If it's not his, he can be like, okay, I don't want the marriage anymore. Yeah. He has. Yeah. I mean. He has two choices, so it's up to him. Yeah, but I, I, I know, I know something with men that is is very difficult. If a man, if a woman cheats, if a wife cheats on the husband, it's very difficult for the man to stay in the marriage with them, isn't it? Well, it depends. It depends how far you've gone. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. maybe cheating around with his own friends. Mm. Right. That's right. a big issue. Yeah. Look, Some it, men it becomes, it they don't know who like, even. Like a, Sometimes they don't know who you are ahead, cheating. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Then they just cut it there. 
they don't want to know who the person is but if they get to know who the person is then is they feel ashamed right yeah you yeah. know then it's like everyone knows right so you know it, it depends how far the woman goes with it i don't know because to me it was a very difficult difficult one for me to think about minister you were saying something um if you want to say something last and then we'll round up um the show please sure look um all points good points yeah. you know also become a psychological thing do you understand yeah. because yeah. now yeah. it becomes a, a trust issue you know you don't you trust trust is something that you earn you know nice. and um when, when you depending again as as ibrahim said you know yeah. let's let's go to the process now the baby's born check the dna and then but it's not going to be a real happy home there i can guarantee you that you understand because <laughs> When trust is not there, the man now might also feel the sense of, you know what, you did it to me, you know, and as alphas, as men, you know, I remember when I was still um, a South African pop star, when I yeah. won the South African pop star here and having so many girlfriends and things like that, you know, um, <laughs> you know because this thing like, you know what, you should, you should have given us a bit of gist about that, you know. Oh, well, that's not important right now, but I'm just trying to drive this point. This point right. that, um, there's a way men think, you know, right. because when you know, like you did it, you know, I, I'm looking at I, 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 that's a license, you understand? Yeah. That's not license for me to get you back, you know. I mean, like you're gonna yeah. pay for that, you know, because yeah. I know I made one lady pay many years ago, I didn't know the Lord then because of what she did, you know. Okay kept her hanging kept her hanging made as if it was okay and then she got a, a, a bigger surprise of her life with when she discovered that uh, her best friend was my friend in quote you know so um so what i'm saying is that it, 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 it doesn't it either way you know it's going to be a difficult man you know god help him you know i mean he's going to have enough grace you know to to forgive and whatever the case may be if the baby is not his, if the baby is his, you know now you take your child, you raise your child. So as Ibrahim said, we can discuss here when yeah. they go into their own closet can, and yes. they start talking, yes. you know, they rekindle their love, you know, <laughs> praise God, then I mean then marriage wins, you know? That's marriage true. wins. But yes. if not, then it's gonna be a it's gonna be a difficult one for the sister. It is, mm. yes. It is, it is. Is also any any I want us to run up because I know you guys are tired. I've taken much of your time. I don't want to take any more. Um, I just gonna want to go through them. If I don't read these messages, I'm gonna I don't know what you're gonna do to me. So I'm gonna go go through the messages and then we we'll run up. Um, your last word for for us and then you go. So um, Kambi says that this is amazing. You look so beautiful, sister. Thank you, sis. Thank you so much. So someone also say thank you for the the good work you do. Thank you. And I've got Seth Odway said hello watching live from Ghana. Thank you for watching. Um Seth Odway. And also I've got um I can't honestly forgive me, but Be Belagia um says that my sis, my sis princess, hello, hey y'all. Okay, so I've got another person said Minister Martin come on this is fire thank you okay so we've got another person saying that Samuel someone Nuga says there is no justification to run away from your responsibility regardless the children between the marriage need to be to be catered for they need their father's love and presence always good to discuss thank you so um We've got Beligias as well. Says that I, I think sometimes it's the lack of fundamental value foundation. I also think people take lightly the impact of generational curses. Many men are living in cycle of their forefathers. Okay, a lot. Of, okay, there's another person saying that spiritually, many men are far from the altar of God. There is. A mentality of women are the ones to pray okay which is very true I agree with you hundred percent 
when your heart is far from God, you can you can fall to love or fight for your own children. Okay, so it's not only men, men women who are supposed to pray. The men also has to pray. <laughs> <laughs> thank you okay so i've got lawson saying that lawson i think he's watching from ghana thank you for joining us thank you so much i've got someone says that thank you minister martin ladies can be contributing factor to the situation because when women are bitter they can use children against their father after all that is the children's that's the children that will suffer okay and I've got someone also here, I think can be from the UK saying that I think most men lack the ability to love and nurture their wives and children. They need help, seriously. <laughs> I don't know. I hope, if we've read this before, I believe you guys would have challenged what she's saying, but I think because of time, we will leave it like that. Um, because he, she's saying that most men lack the ability to love and nurture. Do you believe that? <laughs> Minister, what do you, what do you say about we'll that? Answer next episode. <laughs> say that again. It means, it, it, it means a battle, that one. You're not going to answer her now. <laughs> right. I know because of the time. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're not going to have time. Another time, we'll have you guys back and you answer all these questions. Okay, so I said I saw, I've seen someone saying ha 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 laughing. Um, someone also say ah, but the guy knew what he was doing when he was sleeping with a lady. No, okay. And someone said if you are not ready for kids, don't sleep with a woman. So this is for Ayo. If you're not ready, don't sleep with a woman and don't blame us the women. That's <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> that is for you. <laughs> and don't blame us for, for being for being naive okay so someone also said that um andrew i think andrew is from the u.s he's joining us from the u.s he said it's hard to be a man is it true for is it hard for for you to be a man it's hard for us for us to be a woman too isn't it <laughs> i see TJ from London says a love from, okay. And I see um, Mr. Kusi Ajima from Belgium saying that I'm listening to your discussion. Thank you. And um, it's hard being both man and woman. We all face the deal with situation differently. True. I believe that. I mean, I agree with that. And of course, someone also said that in this generation, there is a, a misplace of hierarchy in marriage a lot of marriages are conforming to the worldly standard there is a lot of com comparison in marriages true and i've got eva from belgium she said okay great chat thank you and i've got valigia also saying again that social media relationships are different from reality many are wanting social media marriages i think many men are trying to live up to the social media standard because of pressure but kids suffer okay and i've got Kambi from uk saying laughing and i've got someone saying i'm watching live thank you for tuning in i've got someone saying that she doesn't respect him that she love her men love wives and wives submit to your husband there's a lot i don't know you know what i think i'm gonna leave <laughs> gonna leave the the comments because there's a lot for me to read i don't think i can finish reading it um there's a lot um here and the time is going so i'm not gonna read all i've got someone charles i think i'm not sure where charles is chatting from but he said good word brother and i've got can't be saying true sometimes as women we don't really listen okay so i'm gonna leave the the, the comments here um, I've seen someone say, hi, I'm watching from Ghana, best discussion. So I'm going to leave the comment because there's a lot for me to, to, to read through. It's going to take a lot of time. So your last your last words um, for, for the audience, please. Um, what do you have to say, please? Uh, Mr. Ayu, what's your last your last um, advice for the men, who the fathers who run from their responsibilities, please? Well... What I would say is, I know it's hard to be a man. Like, it's not easy. But no matter what it takes, do whatever that you can 
to be there yeah. for your kids. Children yeah. are blessing. Just be there for them, no matter what. Whether you are rich, you are poor, no matter what it is, That's have it. time for your kids. Have time for your kids because they did not ask you to bring them to the world. That's it. So, That's it. you know, just no matter what, be there for them. That's all I've got to say. Thank you so much. That's very wise. And Minister, and Minister Martin, what, what you also want to say, your last uh, word for the fathers. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to be with you today. Thank you. And um, this is good content, you know, and um, I believe that this content will also help some other men. You know, this is some of the things maybe that are not discussed a lot, you know, especially these, like you said, you know, to be a man, that's why I said the definition of a man has been misconstrued in in our generation, you see, and um, when you understand, when you speak about responsibility, accountability, provision, you know, um, so don't get yourself into things where you are not ready, you know, and then I like the comment that one lady said, you know, it comes back to fundamentals. You understand it comes back to upbringing and orientation you know and um but um we've got good men i mean yeah my dad my dad my dad um he tried his best i mean he was not the best you know but um, given the circumstances the guy never ran away you know and um so there are some good men out there you know and uh, we need more of them and it's our responsibility as young fathers you know to to really um put those values in them the principles you know what is it what is what is what is it to be a man and even to the sisters you know before you ask a man if they love you ask them do you love god that should be the first question then number two do you have a job you understand yeah you don't ask the first question do you love me you know uh, love can be something that grows over time you know because you don't marry the person you love but you love the person you marry. You understand? So, um, for all those brothers, you know, we can all speak and say whatever. You know, yeah. we just need to pray for those guys, you know, that yes. they are well guided because the common yeah. denominator here is children, you know, yeah. your children. You know, whether the children are disrespecting you, like the one brother said, you know, um, but they are still yours, <laughs> you know. <laughs> there's always going to be the place yeah, you are their dad so i would say yeah man you know once you understand your responsibilities and the only way you can understand it is through the one that made the man which is god you understand you see counsel to the word once you understand that you flow you know we saw in the bible that many times we've seen how adam adam lost his battle in the garden because why he did not take up his manly responsibilities you get it and then what happened when he did not do that eve listened to another voice they were kicked out of the garden so to the men we love you brothers we are praying for you you know yes it can be tough out there you know you go out here you face so many things you face rejections you do the deals like some of us who are business people as well you know you face so many things but you know what dust yourself up and try again okay yeah Thank you. Thank you so much. So we'll, we'll say, I think we'll say bye to um, Ayo because he yeah. has to go somewhere. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. I'll give you, I'll call you back or call you later. Thank you All so right. much. Sure. Thank you. You're Thanks welcome. a lot for joining us. Okay. So Minister, um, Minister Martin, what, where can, where can we find you when people want your music and where can we get you and your music? I realized that your new music was coming out and hallelujah yeah. which i was really enjoying your dance and your dance move and everything when is it coming out when uh, it's, out, it's out it's out it's on all social okay. media oh it's out already I mean, digital stores you can get it there it's yeah okay. and right. yeah it came out in june, june 19. Okay. so it's, right. it's available so people can go and enjoy themselves and get exposed to my ministry yeah. and um yeah and I also need to go. It's eight minutes before midnight, and I have to yes. get into prayer. So, yeah. okay. thank you so much, Princess Roy. This was so really much. good. And thank to all you your for viewers. Your time and everything. Thank you. Really appreciate it. So, have a wonderful, enjoy the rest of your day. And then, God bless you for coming. I really appreciate you. And may God be with you. 
Thank you so much. Bye bye for now. Bye. <laughs> bye. All right. So if you just tune in, this is Princess Roy um, on the Pinky Room Show. Thank you for tuning in with us today. We're so grateful for joining us today. We have a fantastic and wonderful discussion today with um, my guest. Um, so before I go, I just want to say say thank you to my sponsors, um, Jakis Yogurt Ghana, um, African Connect UK, Eight Humanity Foundation Worldwide, um, Why She Talk UK. And also, I want to say thank you to my makeup artist and my hairstylist, um, Deslin Beauty. So if you want um, Deslin Beauty to do your hair, please contact me. I'm going to give her contact, and she's going to make you look beautiful as I'm looking today. Okay, so I want to say bye to you for now. If you just tune in, we, we have ended the show, but we still have it on my YouTube channel, Princess Roy YouTube channel. Just go there, watch it again and again and again, and learn men learn so that you will not run away from your responsibilities learn how to be with your family we have learned a lot of we've gained a lot of wisdom on this show today so please go back and watch and watch it again and share the link to your friends and families and also before you go hit on the subscribe buttons and help me build this channel also i want to thank my media partners lively tv and abedin tv thank you so much I'm going to say bye-bye to you now. God bless you for joining us. See ya. Thank you.